Hello and welcome to my Digital Dental Hygiene Photoshop Elements and Wacom Tablet tutorial. That's quite a title, isn't it? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up these teeth. Let's zoom in a bit and take a look at them and see how, or see what we just have to do. Uh, to do. Okay, you can see that there's some yellow here. Maybe this person drinks a lot of tea or coffee or smokes, or maybe they just don't ever go to the hygienist. I don't know. Uh, but we want to get rid of that. It doesn't look very nice. So it, it actually spoils an otherwise nice smile, doesn't it? So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to put a new layer on and we're going to clone some of this white into some of this yellow here. So I'm going to grab the clone tool. You can see that is a clone tool. Doesn't it look just like a clone tool? And I'm going to drop down my brushes palette and choose one of the brushes that is an opacity brush. The harder I press, the darker it gets. I'm going to choose a soft one um, so I, I don't get hard, hard edges. So th if you don't know how to do that, um, you can go to the previous page on my site and it shows you how to set the brush settings uh, for opacity. Um, if uh, you're on YouTube, well, there's another video uh, that shows you how to do this. So to do a clone, you Alt and then you click uh, or tap with my brush. I think my brush is a titch big, so I'm going to zoom right in on this one and uh, work one of them really close and then we'll work farther away on some of the others. I don't know if I can move it across here. Yeah, let's 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 go with this one. It's kind of a, a good one to work with. Okay, back to the clone tool. Now you alt click where you want your source to be and then you just very lightly, I'm just using the weight of the pen really, drag in that white into that yellow area. There we go. And over here. And there it's going away. But we don't want to take away the division between the teeth here. That would look fake, wouldn't it? Let's move up a bit. Alt. Oops, it's gone out of your range of viewing there. There we go. Okay, let's drag across. Do some of this. Alt click. We don't want to change the overall look, like make this way too white. We want to just keep it the same whiteness as the rest of the tooth. There and over here. And drag that down and there. Now the surface of this tooth has some yellow on it right here. So we'll take it from here and get rid of that. Carry on over here and get rid of that, which you can't see. There we go. Oops. I dragged some of the lip down there. And the last one here we'll work on is this one right here. It's got some yellow up here in the surface. It's starting to lose the light too, so it is going to be a bit funnier and darker. It's not going to be the same as the uh, the front teeth that are going to have all of the. Uh, well, look what I did. <laughs> yes, well, we can we can recover from this over a bit. Yeah, it's not going to have the same coloring as the front teeth that are collecting all the light. Every time you see that little funny thing, it means I'm tapping and selecting a new source area. So it's best if you keep changing your source. And this last tooth. It's uh, really dark just because of where it is, but we'll just give it a bit of lightning around here. Okay, that seems to probably be pretty good for the... Uh... Okay, so let's see. Turn off the layer. Turn on the layer. Okay, so we got the first part done. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a second layer and it's going to be a soft light layer with 50% gray. So you go to new layer right here and you drop this down and down here is soft light. I'll just show you where it is. It's way down here. And you, f you, you fill this or you uh, check that box and OK. So now I've got a second layer here. Now I'm going to take my brush tool I'm going to take go to the tablet op options and make sure it's set for opacity 
and again I'm going to choose kind of a soft edge brush with no hard edges on it a bit big there oops okay now very lightly with white as your foreground color uh, what you have to do is before you get going you hit the D key and that makes black and white your your default colors and you hit the X key until you get white as the foreground color so you can see how these are whitening up just a bit not too much you don't want to have them like those models on TV those people that have impossibly white teeth that you need to wear sunglasses to look at them okay I come across here and here and here and here and there a little touch there there and there okay so that's a that's a fairly quick one if you're gonna do it to uh, impress somebody you're gonna take a bit more time and get in tight all the time but you know I have to work in this space so that's the way it's gonna be let's take off these layers and see how it looks okay this was the start this was the yellow gone and this was the lightning now if I take off the first two layers that's what I did when I was lightning you can see in this tooth I didn't do much in the middle let's see if I do it there there it is got a bit more in the middle there uh, you know, stick around I'll have some more tutorials with elements and I hope you've enjoyed this and thanks for watching I really do appreciate it bye now